We continue our team coverage now. That crash shut down Bradley Airport for hours yesterday, and people already aboard planes waited till it was safe to get off. Meanwhile, hundreds of travelers scrambled to make other arrangements on the aftermath of the tragic accident. Channel 3's Eva Zamaris joins us live now from inside Bradley. Eva, you've been checking the boards for us. Any issues? Good morning to you both. No issues at all. We are seeing green across the board. Departing and arriving flights are on time. Now, I've been speaking with travelers throughout the morning, and they're telling me that it's all about perspective. If their flights were delayed or impacted in any way, so be it. Their hearts are with these victims and their families. Now, as you can see here, things are pretty quiet here at the airport. Things have definitely quieted down. It was business as usual here at Bradley yesterday morning. People were checking in, waiting for their flights and hopping aboard, waiting for takeoff. But all of a sudden, everything came to a screeching halt when a B-17 crashed here at Bradley just before 10 yesterday morning. Now, people looked on as thick black smoke filled the air. One of my friends was on a plane moments from takeoff when they were alerted that something had happened. She said everyone fell silent as they watched what was unfolding not far from where they were. The crash shut down the airport for hours. The Connecticut Airport Authority says 39 flights were canceled and 19 flights were delayed. Now, travelers were left with a few options, waited out or rebook and leave from another airport. But travelers that we spoke to this morning say their focus remains on the people on that plane and their families. We just, you know, we pray for the people and the families, and, and we know it must have been hard for everybody working here as well, and our hearts are out to all of them. Now, if you are flying out of Bradley today, you are being encouraged to double check with your airline to confirm your flight itinerary. But again, just to reiterate, we are seeing green across the board. Arriving and departing flights are on time this morning. Live at Bradley this morning, I'm Evans Maris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.